I'm Mark Anderson, President and CEO of Anderson Hay and Grain. We're one of the larger exporters of hay and straw products from the Western United States to a world market. 1955 was when we started the first hay that we started selling in California at Santa Anita Racetrack and Hollywood Park and all. Over 40 years ago, my father and I decided we had to improve our source of Timothy. Had to get a better source. So we decided, well, let's aim for the top. And we went up to see Ron Anderson. At Anderson Hay and Grain, we have three main brand values that we take very seriously. Relationships, operational expertise, and our reputation. And they really are values that aren't just made up, sound good, and hang on the wall. They're values that we live by day in and day out. We even hire people uh, that, that align with those values. As we have built the business over the years, uh, what's really made up the company is a, a grower base uh, up and down the West Coast that in many cases goes back several generations that have been dedicated to supplying the product needs to meet our markets, whether that's here domestically or whether that's international. In two years from now, we'll have been doing business in Japan for 50 years. We have been business with uh, Anderson Hay since my dad's age. Our main partner is Anderson Hay. The relationships that we have with our grower base, our supply base in general, the vendors that we work with, and ultimately our customers and the relationships with our customers is what drives the organization. We're a very customer-driven organization. What the customer says is what aligns uh, our strategies, our vision, our values, and our goal. Anderson Hay has, has never let me down, and they offer me whatever I want, which is another big plus for the company. A very important part of how we deliver to our brand promise really starts in the countryside. It starts with the relationships we have with growers, uh, whether we're buying hay from growers after it's in the stack or the farming part of our operation where we're actually controlling the growing and harvesting activities. Uh, we work uh, very hard to do business with some of the best landowners and the best farming families that we can. And we also work to have some of the best employees that understand the business well, they're incredibly dedicated to quality and putting up a kind of product that works well for uh, our end customers. Typically have a lot more harvesting equipment than we actually need because it's all about baling hay when it's ready to be baled, not necessarily when your equipment's ready to get there. So whether it's swathing the hay, raking the hay, baling the hay, and the baling side of the business, we produce about every different kind of package uh, needed in, in the field, whether it's the big bales, the small bales, the uh, chamber down bales as we call it for the more retail market. We have a lot of different packages we put the product in depending on its condition at the time of baling and depending on what our customer requirements are. From there, once the product has been baled, we make a big investment in equipment to pick the bales up in the field, which is key that that happens immediately after baling. We then get the product into storage facilities, whether that's barns or fully wrapped stacks of hay, to protect it for year-round shipment. We work very hard to have long-term employees that are working in the compressing part of the operation. We take great pride in our years of service award. We have a lot of production employees that are working in the buildings that have been with us 15, 20, 25 years or more. And I think that's a big part of how we are successful. We have product arriving every day from the countryside. We go through our check station process. We depend on great people making sure that the product that is arriving in the facility is what we want. Uh, we get it in stage for processing. Uh, and again, quality control points through that whole process, what is, which at the end of the day, means you have to have good, dedicated people that really do care about what the customer is ultimately going to receive. All 40 years, we've only had one Timothy company. They're the only suppliers of Timothy that we have, and that's based on their performance and what they've done over the years. On the administrative side of the organization, in our headquarter offices that are in Ellensburg, 
Uh, we have a, the same dedicated group of people. Many have been with the company for 15, 20, 25 plus years that are also well aligned with the brand promise and delivering to the customer. We have a dedicated sales group that spends endless weeks and in some cases months of the year traveling around the world, meeting with our customer base, understanding those customer needs, bringing them back and aligning our sales plan, our supply plan, our processing plan with something that works for uh, the customer. Technology has always been a big part of the organization. Actually, you go back to the early days of my father, we had one of the first computers in Ellensburg uh, that was operating the company. And to this day, uh, we continue to be very vested into technology. We have a full Oracle software system that we run the business from A to Z. Uh, it allows us to be as streamlined as possible in every process through the organization. We have some of the most state-of-the-art uh, traceability systems where we can actually take a container full of hay that's anywhere in the world. We can trace that back through our software system all the way to the grower, all the way to the particular field that the product came off of, which then allows us to understand how it was fertilized, how it was grown, how it was harvested, what the weather conditions were. It's traceability that really set a new standard uh, in the hay industry back uh, in the early 2000s when we implemented the Oracle software system that we continue to use today. The logistics is a very important part of the organization. We have some of the best people in the industry in managing those logistics, whether it's the container activity in and out of the West Coast ports and those terminals, or whether it's the inbound trucking as we refer to it and bringing product from the fields into the plant. All that has to align with great operations people and putting schedules together at the facilities, all played out by very dedicated employees that, again, all that has to align with a good customer experience and delivering to our brand promise. Any business needs to say, what was our most important decision that we made? And it, without a doubt, it was Anderson Hay. And then I hope, really hope it, it's been continued for the next 30, 40, 50 years for my sons and then grandkids. One of the exciting parts of our relationship value and the relationships that we have with our growers and customers is you'll find that when those relationships go for generations, in many cases currently two or three generations, it's fun where we've been actually part of helping our customers grow their business or helping them transition their business to the next generation. We've done that in Japan with longtime generational customers. We've done that here in the U.S. with growers and farming families. And it's rewarding to me because a lot of customers that we still do business with today and growers we do business with helped Anderson Hay and our own transition from things moving from my father to me. We're here to, to make friends and uh, hopefully sell some hay. <laughs>